Hi everyone and welcome back. Today we are going to be making a water feature in our garden. So the first thing you're going to need is some sort of planter. I'm using a half barrel. It was an old whiskey barrel that I purchased. And if you're using this, you will want to fill it up 24 hours prior to. And this will allow the water to soak into the wood, expanding the wood, and it will hold the water better. The other supplies that I purchased for my water feature was a solar powered fountain pump. And this pump was purchased on Amazon for about $25. And I will put the link down below. It comes with a variety of different spouts and it's solar powered, which I love. I also picked up a floating lily pad from Dollarama. It was super cute. And I also got another lily pad, a white one, and it lights up. I got three of these solar floating globes. They will change color in the night and really make a great addition to our fountain. You'll also need some black pantyhose if you're going to add some plants to your water feature. And this is just to cover your planter, holding in the soil and the roots as well. When you take your solar fountain out of the box, it just looks like this. You remove the top layer, which I've already done. It's just a plastic film. It comes with all different kinds of sprayers. I'm just gonna add this piece on first. Once you got that first piece on, you go ahead and put this piece. And I'm going to use this sprayer so that clicks onto the top. Now I did already charge this. It charged for about a half a day uh, in direct sun. So we'll go in and put it in the water and see how it works. There we go. So this water fountain will just float around in your water feature. You can secure it on the bottom there is a wire in which you could attach some string and weigh it down with a weight. So I'm also going to use some planters that I had. This one was purchased at Dollarama. I drilled some holes on the bottom and this is going to allow it to sink to the bottom. And I'm going to use it as a stand to hold my plants. So the next thing is I took my pantyhose and I'm just wrapping it around the bottom of the planter. And this is gonna keep all the soil in place from getting into my water. And I cut the pantyhose a little too short for this planter. I wish I would have made it a little longer kind of to go over the top as well. I filled the top with some pretty rocks that the kids picked up for me. And this adds weight to the plant and makes a nice little feature. So what I was able to do to stabilize the cattle lily, so you want it so the top part's out of the water, so you can see my top rocks here are still dry. So I have my plant potter upside down, this on top weighing it down, but I also had some bricks, or you could use some heavy rocks, and I just have it on top of the planter, stabilizing the cattle lily up against the wall. So it's very secure, it's not gonna go anywhere. We're gonna do this the same method to my other plants that I picked up, and then we'll go ahead and add some lily pads that I got at Dollarama and the solar light. So in the middle, we're just going to put some tall grass and we're going to use the same method. I have to move these over a little bit to kind of get my pot in. This big rock to weigh it down and give me some more height. And then I'll go ahead and add the grass. And again, I just used the pantyhose, covered it some with some pond rocks, which the kids collected for me. They had fun doing it. Secure it up against the wall with some more rocks or bricks, whatever you have.
one's a little bit taller than I'd like. There, that's a little better. And we'll just add some more rocks to the top. So I found some nice flat rocks. Kind of hide your planter. Really nice skipping rocks. They're nice and flat. That looks perfect. So the last part is just adding your fountain, just set that in, we got our lily pad, our light up lily pad. And our solar globe. 